The Gemara says that everything Hashem does, everything is for Letova. Everything is for good. You know, sometimes in life, something happened to us. We have a flat tire and we're starting to be angry. Why this thing happened? I don't believe. I'm in the middle of uh, uh, going to meet someone for a big uh, uh, interview and now he's not going to hire me. Everything Hashem does, Rabotai, everything, Akol Akol Letova. Everything is only for good. You know, Harav Ovadia Yosef, Zecher Tzadik Vekadosh Livracha, in Yerushalayim, he was the master of all. He was absolutely one of the biggest, greatest rabbi that studied from morning to night time, knows everything by heart. He was amazing, amazing rabbi. You know, when he was looking for a shiduch, when he was wanting to get married, so he was looking for a shiduch that is going to be matched, that, you know, she's going to let him study Torah. And he met a very nice lady and they start to, to go out. And right before the shiduch, right before they wanted to get married, she told him, look, um, I have one issue. Every Motsai Shabbat, every Saturday night, I want you to come with me to a movie theater. Now, Rav Vadya says, Ribbono Shel Olam, movie theater in Motsai Shabbat on Saturday night. You know, I mean, Saturday night, you see it with, with I, I don't mind to sit at home with the wife, but I don't want to go to all these places. This is not humble. It's not Sanua. So Chacham Ovadia tell her, let me ask my rabbi. I'm going to speak to my rabbi and I'm going to let you know. And Arav Ovadia goes, he speaks to his rabbi and the rabbi tells him no. So Arav Ovadia says, but rabbi, I want to get married already, you know. He said, this is not your shidduch. Don't worry, everything is akol etova. Rabbi, are you sure? Akol, akol etova. Everything is only for good. Hashem knows what he's doing. Let Hashem do his own plans. So he goes to the lady and he tells her, I'm sorry. I wish you the best. You know, I have to continue. 70 years goes by. 70. Rav Avadia is already old. He's in the house, study Torah, Kodesh Kodashim. And he's starting to, to hear a big screaming. I want to see the rabbi. I want to get in. I want to see the rabbi. So the rabbi is asking his gabbaim, his people next to him. Well, well, what is this noise out there? It's like, no, there's some crazy lady outside. She's screaming. What does she want? Well, I don't know what she wants, but we told her that you study Torah. Not right now. You know what? Bring it here. Bring her in. She goes inside and she's starting to cry to Arav Ovadia. Please. Help me, I don't have money, my husband is dead, I don't have anywhere to, anywhere to sleep, they want to kick me out of the house, I don't have any... Aravadia was a gdolador, was a really big leader. He started to cry and he really had a mercy on that lady. And then he called his gabai and he said, listen, see this lady, from now on, every Shabbat, every Friday, you're going to give her money for food for Shabbat and every month I'm going to help her with the rent from my money from my own personal bank account take it and give it to her directly she was so happy she was like crying and Arav Avadia was crying she said goodbye and she goes she goes to the door and then she comes back says Arav Avadia, yes you need something else no I wanted to tell you something but no you know what it's okay never mind she goes back to the door and comes back again, like three, four times. Says Arav what do you want to say? You know what she told him? She told him, Chacham Ovadia, do you remember me? I am the lady from seven years ago that you wanted to get married with me. And your rabbi told you no. I was lying to you, but I cannot bring any kids to the world. And you wanted to get married with me and I saw how much Hashem loves you. And how much the rabbi guide you to the right direction. If you were marry me, you will never have any kids. Says Arav Ovadia, thank you to Hashem Yitbarach. Borei verabotai, sometimes things happen to us. Don't try to push it. Oh, why am I not buying this home? Why am I not buying this business? Why did I go over here? Why did I go over there? Let Hashem do His plans for you. Bezrat Hashem, that we're all going to know that everything Hashem does, everything is for the Tova. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen ve'Amen.